For two months now, all of Russia has been on the horn. The vice president of Putin's Gazprom bank, who has been helping the Kremlin to circumvent sanctions, has fled to Ukraine. Igor Volobuyev left Russia a few days after Kremlin tanks crossed the Ukrainian border. All my life I felt this country, Ukraine, as my homeland. My homeland is in danger now, and I cannot live a full, contented life when my father, who lives in Akhtyrka, is in danger, when my relatives and friends are killed. Nobody knows exactly how many such Volobuyevs there are in Russia. Maybe this is the reason why for several months now Putin has not allowed to approach him even those who had accompanied him to the taiga for mushrooms. Apparently the bunker ruler suspects his servants of something. Take the Minister of Defense Sergei Shoigu, for example. He openly said he was baptized in Ukraine. How can you not suspect him now? I was at the age of five, now this is a foreign country, the city of Stahanov. In Ukraine? In Ukraine, yes. My grandparents are there on my mother's side, and my grandmother baptized me. I've been to these places since then, I wanted to find records and books. It is unknown how, but Shoigu is still in office, unlike, for example, Vladislav Surkov. He has worked with Putin since 90s, responsible for Russia's relations with South Ossetia and Abkhazia, annexed from Georgia. And later, he supervised the so-called DNR and LNR in Ukrainian Donbass. It is a man of one master. He always serves one master. We even know which one until recently it was Putin. I'm not sure if it is still so. The Kremlin accused him of corruption in the Ukrainian Donbass. This is the official version. Surkov is currently under house arrest. Well, at least for now. Dmitro Kozak, another long-time ally of Putin, replaced Surkov. But he also has relatives in Ukraine. Of course, he pretends to be Putin's man, but with the surname Kozak. Almost all the heroes of the information war are actually behaving as if they are just can't wait for the fall of Putin's regime and Russia to collapse to the old side of Muscovy. The propagandist Skabeva is trying to teach Russians the Ukrainian language. This is the word strawberry. In Ukrainian it's palenitsa. If you answered incorrectly with errors or mispronounced on your knees and a ball to head. One of the main propagandists, Dmitro Kisilov, time ago was admitting that he was almost a Ukrainian. I felt more Ukrainian, I felt like I really was, I felt like I was a completely independent part of the Ukrainian landscape, and this imposes a certain burden of responsibility. It is obvious that everything creative in Russia was stolen or taken from Ukraine, and that Russians themselves are beginning to understand this. Putin risks remaining the only ethnic Muscovite at his own headquarters. Some confess their love for Ukraine, others flee to it from Russia. After all, after such antics, each of them can be told, you are a secret agent of Ukraine. But are they really secret? Слава Украине! Героям слава! Героям слава!